Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're doing a retest of the Survival Axe Elite by Innovation Factory. For those of you who follow me on social media and watch my videos regularly, you will have seen the Battle Box episode where we got the initial off-grid tool Survival Axe Elite. And then we decided to give it an individual thorough test and review. And in that test, we had quite a few astonishing discoveries. Now, I wanted to be clear Overall, I think the tool is a very good concept. Now keep in mind, I pre-ordered this tool myself when I saw it on Kickstarter about 10, 11 months ago now. And as soon as I got it on BattleBox, I was really excited because at least I got to touch it before mine came in. But there was two issues that gave me cause for concern and I thought they could be catastrophic issues and failures for the end user considering the fact they're calling this elite survival axe off-grid tools they're putting all these very big power statements in this tools label it definitely needs to be able to hold up to the hype now in those original set of videos we actually got to go to a fire academy training facility and we got to work with my good friend who's also a subscriber who is a fire captain at the fire department here in San Antonio. Now when we took this thing through a gamut of testing of egress and survival applications from cutting seatbelts, breaking glass, basically breaking into walls, vehicles, and everything like that, this thing actually overall held up pretty darn good. And of them, but for most people, they'll use it as an axe or a hatchet with the blade. Now, will it be as good as a standalone small hatchet? Absolutely not. They also have the Sawzall blade that's built into the handle that has the improved and new locking mechanism. That replaces something like this. Is it as good as a Baco, a Corona they like? Absolutely not. But it's still something that is useful in a pinch. This is a backup emergency tool. We have the full blown hammer and a pry bar right there. So we have a full on hammer. This is a cheap crappy Walmart hammer. But this is what I'm trying to get at. To be able to have the full-fledged version of this in an emergency kit, when you start stacking up all these individual tools, you start having the concern of weight. Now, if you don't have a problem carrying 15 to 20 tools that will really start weighing you down and weighing 15 to 20 pounds, by all means, go for it and rock it if that makes you feel more comfortable. But for people who want a tool that'll work, that will drastically drop their weight but be an extremely usable, useful item. That's where something like this or a multi-tool, things like that come into play. All in all, I said all that to say this. We had an initial failure. The company recognized it, worked with me and the other manufacturer to fix these problems, the two big ones, and also address some customer concerns about a good mask for these tools. So we have three major improvements that provide a convenience factor and an overall higher functionality level for a tool like this. And I really appreciate that an American company went out of their way, showed integrity, and fixed the issue. But that's just about it for now. And if you enjoyed the retest and review of the new Off-Grid Tool Survival X Elite, don't give this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that's just about it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. Estwing has a long tradition for making quality striking tools for the outdoors. Estwing axes made in the 1940s have been passed down through generations and can still be found in use today. By investing in a high quality tool, you are investing in a lasting tool. It may need occasional sharpening, but it won't need to be replaced. Outdoor enthusiasts know our line of axes, from the 16 and 26 inch camper axes to our 13 inch sportsman's axes. Our sportsman axes and camper's axes come in several styles and sizes, from the traditional S-Wing Blue to the matte black and a blaze orange. These tools are the sturdiest wood splitting tools available. Forged in one piece of U.S. steel, there is no fear of the axe head separating from the handle. Choose from leather handles or shock reduction grip, special edition finished in black or polished metal finish.